Ooh, does not look good. One of my most favorite meals. Beef stroganoff, but this one's with a twist. Today we're making oven-baked beef stroganoff. So let's get everything together and do it right now. Okay, we need some beef. I've got some thin strips of beef. That's about two and a half pounds. Not sure exactly how much we're going to make. A uh, pack of mushrooms. That's kind of optional if you want. We need some spices. Some thyme some paprika, garlic powder, use the real stuff if you got it, some salt and pepper. Then we're going to need some sour cream. I got to make some gravy. So I'm going to use beef broth and a little bit of beef thickener just in case. I don't think I'm going to use it though. And some cornstarch. That's going to make our gravy. I didn't put onions in there but we are going to use some chopped onions too. And that's what we're going to start with. An onion peeled and chopped. Rough chopped, not super fine. We'll put that in a container till it's time to use them. Just like that. Looks like it's about a cup and a half-ish. Your choice of how much you want to put in. Next up is our mushrooms. There's pretty well the whole container. I'm just going to chop these up and quarter them. So once again, they're not super small. But if you like them thinly sliced or however, go ahead. Absolutely. So there's our quarters. We'll put that in the container. And there's my last one all done, just like that. There you go. Those are ready too now. To our frying pan, a little bit of oil. Roll it around, coat the bottom, warm it up, medium high heat. In goes our onions. We'll kind of stir it around until it's mostly broken up, and then in go our mushrooms. And we're going to cook these till they're mushy. Kind of like that. Getting a little better. There you go. Mostly cooked. They don't have to be fully cooked because this is going to go in the oven. Here's our beef. I thought this was exactly what I want. See how thin those are? You, if you want to trim some of the fat, which I did do, you can do that. And then we're just going to do different kind of strips. Some thin, some thick. And I wasn't sure how much I was going to use. So I got a little pile of fat there for the stuff I don't want to cook up. And there is just over two pounds of beef cut up into strips and chunks. And we'll put this in the bowl for now. Because we're going to give these a coating. I don't normally do this when I make stroganoff, but it was interesting to try. So I got a little container, and that's about a half a cup of flour. We're going to add some garlic powder, some pepper, a little more pepper, a little bit of salt, probably about a teaspoon each. All this is to whatever you'd like. And lastly, the paprika. Mix all that around. Okay, so now we got to take our beef chunks and we'll get them into the container. Now, I couldn't find the lid because the easy way to do it is just put the lid on, give it a shake. Everything gets covered. It's so easy. Into the frying pan we're going to go with this now. We're going to let the one side get nice and cooked and then flip it over and do the other side. It's not going to be perfect and I'm starting to get sick of using my tongs because I think a fork would be better to use. Make it a lot easier. So see, there I go. I went and got a fork. Did a second batch and of course there's all that stuff on the bottom but we are going to use it. That, there's our meat. Here's our assembly. We got our container, our tin foil container. In goes all that meat we just cooked. Our mushrooms and onions. Oh yeah. A little bit of thyme because we're supposed to put thyme in, but I didn't have the real stuff. So that's probably a teaspoon-ish. A little bit of the beef stock, probably a third of a cup. Just enough so there's a little liquid in the bottom. Like that. 
Okay, now that it's all mixed up, I gotta try it. That's the way I like beef. So we're gonna cover this up tightly and into the oven it's gonna go 300 degrees for two hours. While this is baking, we're gonna make some gravy and that is two cups of beef stock and a little more. And really, I should have done probably three or even four. This is a half a cup of cold water and two heaping tablespoons of cornstarch. And that's going to make our gravy. If you made gravy, then this is a little boring. But if you haven't, I always find this cool. So in the cornstarch slurry goes into our beef stock. And we're going to get all that stuff off the bottom, too, eventually. This is going to go up to a boil. And you just want to slowly mix, slowly mix. See how it starts changing color? That's so cool. You know you're getting close. And this is going to go in a nice, well, not a deep brown, but see a brown, dark brown. And it's just about ready to boil now. I hope you can see how it's gotten a little thicker. Now that it's boiling, that's all we need. Everything scraped off the bottom too. And I did taste it. It didn't need any beef thickener or anything. This is actually perfect. The problem is I left it for a little longer than I should have. Into a pot goes our noodles. We've got to cook these. Stir them around and give them about four or five minutes. They should be fine. They don't have to be fully cooked. They can be par cooked and they will cook in the oven and we're going to rinse them off. Okay, here's our gravy. I kind of let it sit a little long. I got busy doing other stuff so I didn't quite get to it. So we mix it around and into this goes one cup of sour cream. Nah, you don't really need that much. A half a cup is more than enough or else it would be too sour creamy. Mix, 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 and there we go. Here is our half beef stroganoff, almost done. And into it goes our noodles, and, and it's becoming apparent. I might not have enough room for all this, because this is right up to the top of the pan. But in goes our gravy mix. I like where this is going. I mean, not that I've never done beef stroganoff before. Now, you see what I mean with the gravy? I wish I would have made more. It might not have been quite as thick, which would have been fine. Um, but there would have been more to spread around. Because I like it that way, really. I like it more gravier. But anyway, we mix her all up. Looks good. Back in the oven, it's going to go uncovered for 15 minutes. And when we're done, we're done. And that looks pretty good. Throw on a plate, and there you go. Oven baked beef stroganoff. You're not going to go wrong with this dish. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.